on today's episode of what did TikTok influence me to buy off Amazon. Now everyone in this house can stop pretending they don't know if the dishes in the dishwasher are clean or dirty. Things you didn't know you needed off Amazon, part one. So here are my keys, and I have this little ball keychain on the end. But what you didn't know is when you take off the base, it's actually a phone charger. TikTok made me buy this, but we're gonna try it. So it's supposed to make your room rainbow. So I'm about to try it. So I cut it up to about this size, and I'm already starting to see some signs of rainbows. Wait, oh my God. Rainbow! Things TikTok made me buy part 19. This electronic candle lighter. I've seen so many people raving about this and I do light a lot of candles, so I thought it would be quite useful. It does come with a little USB charger, which is good. So I'm just gonna put it on charge now and see if it works. So you turn it on like this, it lights up. Things TikTok made me buy, part one. Cutest slipper sandals ever. They're just adorable and so fluffy and comfortable. Then we've got the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I've been loving this for a long time, clearly. Totally a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. Then we've got the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Totally a dupe for the Tatcha Silk Canvas. And I actually do prefer the e.l.f. just a little bit more. Then we've got the Just For Men Beard Dye. This is what I use to tint my eyebrows. It's fabulous, only leave it on for five minutes though, or your eyebrows will be black. L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. This stuff is amazing, clearly, because I've got three shades. Um, it feels weightless on your skin, gets great coverage, and it lasts a very long time. The e.l.f. setting spray is great. It does have lasting power, and I mean, it's just good, and it's like super cheap. We've still got a lot more, so like for part two. Part one of TikTok made me buy it. So I bought this uh, volcanic rock thing that's supposed to suck up your oils. And I get extremely oily in my T-zone, as you can see. So I want to see how well it works, and we'll give it a try. Oh, my God. Do you see that? Let's try it on my forehead. Holy crap, oh my god. I'm gonna like try to wipe it off. What, that was worth it? It was 13 bucks, but I'm gonna keep this around. So, brought back by popular demand, we have another TikTok made me buy it. Anyone else? Comment below and if you've tried it, let me know how it works. Things TikTok made me buy. These sorts of spots I bought off of Amazon. They come in a nice little package with a date on them that they need to be used by. They're these little patches that you put over a spot that's coming up to the surface. They draw out all pus and gunk out of the spot and literally get rid of your spot overnight. They've saved my life. You can wear them under makeup or by themselves and they're completely unknown. About to see what the hype is about, y'all.
All right, it's on, and now we're just gonna let it dry. I did it outside because I got the unscented extra strength one, so I figured it was gonna smell really, really bad. Um, it does have that nair, eggy, burnt hair smell, but it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. And so far, no irritation. By now, I'd already be on fire with nair. Almost dry. The longer it's on, the worse it smells. I tried to go inside for a few minutes and like couldn't do it, so. All right, I'm cracking and crumbling, so I'm gonna wipe it off with this washcloth and then exfoliate with my hemp scrub and I'll show y'all. Oh my God. So here's me at Home Depot because you know, TikTok convinced me to buy another dumb shit that I really don't fucking need, but I knew he was gonna be worth all my money. His name's Wally. So I got this thing called the Simple Socket, and basically it makes you able to control anything in your house directly through your phone. I connected it to the lights, coffee maker, and TV, and as you can tell, they were not expecting it. They might not have liked it, but I had a blast. It's actually so cool, I honestly might need to get more. TikTok really about to have me broke. I just went to Walmart. We got the camis, the banjos, the tank tops, even the motherfucking chicken dipping sauce. We got it all. So in today's episode of TikTok Made Me Buy It, I got this banana slicer and I'm going to try it out right now for my very first time. Oh, that's it. What do you think? Should I that way? Yep. Okay. All right. Let's see my power. And there we go. Do it. Come out, Pop. Yes. I made cereal too. I'm going to plop this on top and breakfast is ready. Oh, she's a fancy. This is for those of you who live in apartment complexes or travel a lot, knowing that somebody else owns a key to the place that you're staying at. This is just a little gadget that you can purchase on Amazon for less than $10 to stop anybody and everybody from coming into the place you're staying. TikTok made me buy it part one. Uh, there's going to be a lot of these. I'm just letting you know. I was able to get the Truly Organic um, Butt and Boob Polish. Now, Ulta was sold out of these. I had to actually get them off the Truly Organic site. I'm not sure if they're still available, um, but if you've not been able to get them, definitely check there. This one literally smells like straight up watermelon and come on, like how freaking pretty is that? Oh my God, I'm actually uploading a video um, showing these this weekend, so look out for that. Four things TikTok made me buy because I lack self-control. Let's go. Okay, so first up, I got a skincare fridge. I wanted one for a really long time, and after seeing a million on here, I was convinced. Next, I got a vanity mirror, uh, and it lights up and is touchscreen, which is super cool. Next, I got a rose quartz roller, and I'm not sure what the other thing is, but I'm excited about it. Um, and lastly, I got a face mask mixing set, which is so cute. Look how little these are. It's time for part two of the TikTok hot tub. First, I had to get some chemicals, make sure that the water was good in the hot tub. Then you can give them a little strip, give a little dippy dip and a little whip whip, make sure them levels were good. Also, did I tell you I got an LED light for that hot tub? Yeah, throw that bad boy in there. And then I had to turn on the heat and let it roll. By the way, did I tell you it was our four year anniversary? So you know I had to get them flowers and pizza for the girl. Needless to say, she was super excited about the hot tub and this thing was amazing. 10 out of 10, would recommend over and over again. TikTok made me buy it. I got it on Amazon. It was like 10 bucks. I can't help but the price went up from what I paid, but here it is. And you can see how much money I got. Oh my God. You all shit your pants. This is more than a video. I have a video taped. Where? My phone's right in front of me. Oh my God. What's the most you could get? 50. It's a dollar, five dollars, 10, 20. <coughs> You really fall hard. 50, I don't care. Soap was right here. It was in this. There's another piece to it. It smells how good it smells. Yeah. Open that soap. Open that soap. <laughs> we know it's a dollar. I think it's a dollar. Who cares? <gasps> Five bucks. You know what I thought about going into in-depth detail about some of these damn products I bought because of TikTok, but I'm just going to tell you straight up if it's a yes or no. Okay? Okay. Smells good. Not worth the hype. No. Smells good. Worth the hype. Put it on your boobie. You don't want acne. Use this mask. Pores wear. Damn, I'd be glowing after this one. 
the best setting spray on the fucking market. Literal crack for your skin, not marijuana. Huh. You want smooth lips that your boyfriend will want to kiss or girlfriend? Use this shit. Like for part two. So I did it. I got on that Sheen website, S-H-I-E-N-E-I-N, I don't know, and I wanted to be like everybody else, so I ordered a bunch of stuff. Wanna see? Okay, so they get an A for like... The So I was up at four in the morning watching TikToks and of course I saw somebody buy this grout cleaner off of Amazon so I had to buy it and I started scrubbing it after leaving it for about 15 minutes which is what the bottle says. I scrubbed and I scrubbed and I scrubbed and I scrubbed and then I scrubbed some more. Come to find out we have black grout. So yeah. Thanks, TikTok made me buy part one. So if you guys didn't know, Ducky's favorite treat is popcorn. So I had to buy this doggy popcorn from Amazon, and this one was $6.99. So it says to heat it up in the microwave for 55 seconds. Okay, I put it in longer than I was supposed to. Let's see. So it's still deflated. Ducky, are you excited to try it? Here's the inside. Look, Ducky. <gasps> Here are these ones. I have to let it cool for two minutes. We give these treats an 8 out of 10 because Ducky enjoyed them, but some of them didn't pop, and it's also a lot of treat for one dog. So I was scrolling through TikTok one day and I saw this awesome little gadget that steam cleans your furniture and my furniture's gross because normally I hand scrub it because I didn't know these existed and I had a baby and now I'm a homeschool teacher so I just have not had time to do them but look how disgusting this is like I'm just embarrassed honestly and this is that and it makes me want to vomit and this is what my couch looks like now which isn't that great I'm going to redo this one but this is my other couch and how it turned out. <laughs> 